Hey there, LEGO fans. Welcome back. Alex here. In this video, we are going to be doing a build and review of the new LEGO modular. And here it is, guys. It is officially Jazz Club. This is set number 10312, contains 2,899 pieces, and will retail for 230 US dollars. These modular buildings are always highly anticipated LEGO sets by LEGO fans around the world, myself included, and that is why I am so excited to build this today. So a huge thank you to the LEGO group in providing me this early copy for a review. So what we'll do as always is a time-lapse build, then I'll give it a proper review, and then my favorite part, we'll take it downstairs and find a spot for it in the LEGO city. So let's go ahead and get started. And we are back and here it is guys, the Jazz Club is complete. It took Josh and I about six hours to put this thing together uh, from start to finish. But I would like to start with the, uh, the general design of this first and say that I think this modular is a worthy entry into the modular series. Now when we think of modular buildings, we all have pretty high expectations. They have a strong history of fun and interesting build techniques and designs. They provide goods and services to our LEGO cities and in many cases entertainment as is the case of this modular. And even if you don't have a LEGO city, they still look really good on a shelf. But what's most enjoyable with these modular buildings is the story they tell. While the modular building sets the stage, it is the minifigures that really help this come to life. Jazz Club comes with eight minifigures. This ties with the Town Hall modular. Just Assembly Square has more with nine minifigures. We start with the Magician who also performs here. She has a rabbit that we learn comes from the Pet Shop modular. A delivery boy for the pizzeria who was easily distracted by the uh, jazz performers. And of course a cook who maintains a small garden on the roof. We also learn that he shops at the Green Grocer modular for much of his ingredients. Then we have the bass player and drummer along with the singer. Now the singer is the only minifig who has a reversible face and look at that hair. Wow, incredible. We have the club manager as well who is always looking for new talent. And finally, we have the tailor who makes sure that your outfit is the right fit. There is one instruction book for Jazz Club and it is thick. There are a couple pages dedicated to the modular's development and then it goes right into the build. I was pleasantly surprised to find that there are several informational bits for you to read as you proceed through the build. This is actually how I learned so much about the minifigures. I also found at least seven references to other modular buildings from reading these. I will say that Josh and I found it difficult to build in tandem, but you could split up the build by pulling the instructions up online so your partner can build a different floor or section alongside you. As for the build experience, Josh and I really enjoyed ourselves. Like its predecessors, this modular includes many fun building techniques that are both fun and challenging, but it never gets technical or tedious. There are no stickers, so that means all these tiles on the marquee are printed elements. The front of this modular is of course where it shines. The windows use a lot of small pieces to give it great detail and the stained glass is just the cherry on top. I was concerned that the use of bright elements such as the yellow and light blue would be a distraction, which is my opinion about the blue color on the smaller building from the bookstore modular. The blue at the base of the main building looks great in the end, but I am still trying to get used to the yellow. You will not find anything appealing about the sides of the modular as these would be hidden as they attach to the other modulars. The rear looks fine and meets expectations from what we have seen from recent releases, but I will say that I think that the balcony on the second floor should be a bit larger by extending it outward by a stud or two. 
Now let's look at the interior. The first floor is the jazz club itself. There's not a lot of space in this room, but somehow the designer was able to fit the stage that holds three minifigures as well as a few tables out front with a pair of chairs each. I was also surprised to find that there is a small bathroom hiding under the staircase. I thought this was a wonderful addition as these modular buildings rarely come with bathrooms. There's a very large opening to the pizzeria making it very easy for our patrons to walk on over and grab a slice of pizza. Our chef has a very nice area to prepare food in a wood burning stove and there's also some extra wood stored out back. To access the second floor, our minifigures must be outside. The tailor sign is just outside, and if you want to find the tailor, you just follow the lavender. The lavender door opens up to the tailor, who has a small but organized shop with sewing machine, fabric, and mannequin. I also like that he can benefit from the heat given off by the stove. Across the hall is the club manager's office. This office features a private balcony so she can listen in on the evening's performances. However, I must say that this may be a distraction if she were on a phone call. Regardless, this is a pretty neat looking office. And finally, we have the third floor. This is where we have the dressing room for our performers. There's a couch, some sheet music, and a very nice vanity that are all provided. I must say that given the relatively small amount of space in the other areas of this modular, this seems like a very large room. The other door leads outside to the chef's greenhouse. A tomato plant alongside a carrot and some other herbs are maintained, but it should be noted that the carrot is held in reserve for the magician's rabbit. There is a ladder in the hallway that provides access to the roof, but the only thing going on up there is a local squirrel who has made a home in the back corner. Those who choose to eat their pizza outside should watch out as this squirrel is known to snatch people's food. So that is my review of the new Jazz Club Modular. This is the 18th modular building in this series that started way back in 2007 with Cafe Corner. My early feeling on where I would rank this is definitely not towards the bottom. I think I'll need some time with it though to see where this would rank among all the other fantastic modulars. The Jazz Club Modular will be available to purchase as of January 4th. However, if you are a VIP member, you can purchase this as of the 1st of January. And now it is time to find a spot for it in the city. So let's go ahead and take this thing downstairs and see how it looks. So here we are down in the basement and here it is placed in the city at the far back of the downtown area. I didn't want to go too crazy moving modulars around with this, but I did actually have to make some changes here. And of course, if you guys saw my previous video with the airport shuttle station build, you know that I was definitely aiming for that part of the city. Uh, but I think the jazz club, now that it's placed, it looks a lot better among its peers. So it's right between the police station uh, and the apartment building that came with the bookstore modular. And that's actually Actually, the uh, apartment building I was referring to earlier in my video about those bright colors and having those two together works very well because they're both a little bit shorter and bright colors and I think that works very very well and of course at the end there we have the Parisian restaurant which meant that we had to relocate the Sanctum Sanctorum and that is across the street now and his neighbors with the boutique hotel while that has a similar color scheme I'm not super happy with those two being together because of the uh, size differences so I'm not sure how long that'll last but regardless the jazz club looks fantastic among other modulars and I wasn't really so sure about that before but now that it's among other modulars and in this big city here I think it works very very well so a very good a variety of modulars now this is the like I said the 18th modular here and I have it on the busy street here this is on like this is the longest street I've ever had in any of my Lego cities it goes from the Schmue Tower there at the corner of the downtown area all the way to that tree house so that is quite a long road uh, so it should get some pretty good business some good traffic there very excited to have the Jazz Club as part of the city and that is gonna wrap it up for this video guys thank you so much for watching let me know what you guys think of this new modular and where you would rank it among all of these many modulars. I guess that means I have to do my ranking here again all over again to see where I would put the Jazz Club. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you very soon. Until then, bye-bye.